Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see what is a transaction. A transaction is nothing but it's a usual term that we use in our daily life, but still we don't know what it exactly means. So, for example, whenever you know you're going to an ATM, inserting the card and getting your cash, it is one transaction. Or else, when you're going to some online booking websites and you're trying to book a bus ticket or train ticket and you successfully book it, it is another transaction. So this is what is called as transaction. It is nothing but where a unit of work, a small unit of work that is performed against a database or DB is called as transaction. Okay. So I'm just you know making this point so that it'll be easy for you guys to you know remember and use the same thing in your interview unit of work that is performed against a DB is called as transaction and second point that you need to remember is a transaction is always accomplished by a DML statement DML is nothing but data manipulation language so a transaction is nothing but is usually or uh, is uh, accomplished using DML statements so hope you guys know what is DML statement that is our uh, insert delete and update right so data manipulation lang uh, language is nothing but where you use these insert delete update queries so these are the two things that you need to remember whenever someone is asking you about what is transaction and you can give these kind of examples like ATM or the uh, railway ticket booking or bus ticket booking or any kind of transaction that you do um, so these are the things about transaction coming to the nature of a transaction like how transaction what is there in this transaction okay the na nature of the transaction okay so a transaction is nothing but it always has um, has an beginning or a start and uh, an end it always has a beginning and an end okay so that is what uh, is, the, is one of first nature of the transaction so every transaction will have a beginning and an end so another thing is a transaction second point that you need to remember is a transaction can always be you know saved that means you can save the transaction or else you can undo it okay so that is a uh, second point you can always um, save the transaction or undo it okay these are the things uh, that you need need to remember nature of transaction and also there's a third point where whenever a transaction fails in the middle uh, no part of the transaction should be saved to the d database so that's what the third point see whenever you go to an ATM and uh, try to withdraw some cash and um, because of some reason the transaction fails so these things doesn't get saved in the database Me that means there's no any changes that happen to the database right so those kind of things uh, so whenever a transaction fails in the middle so no part of the transaction should get saved to the database that is the nature of a transaction so when a transaction fails no or uh, when a transaction fails in the in the middle sorry for my type errors middle no part of the transaction can be saved to the database so this is the uh, nature of the transaction and also um, in our no oracle uh, whenever we complete the transaction there are some three commands that we can we can use to finalize the transaction so what are these are uh, the first one uh, it is called commit the second one is nothing but rollback and the third one is save point 
okay so these are the things that we mm -hmm. uh, use whenever we are um, using uh, or sorry whenever a transaction is completed in our database so hope you guys have understood till here what I'll do is I'll split this um, video and I'll in the next video I'll tell you what is commit rollback and save point so till here uh, I'm sure that uh, you have got a clear example on how the transaction works and what it exactly means so as I usually say please keep supporting my videos and share my channel with your friends and colleagues and I'll come up uh, with the video where you will be able to get the explanation about the commit rollback and save point and uh, thank you very much for watching Thank you.